Hello all, we are back with more Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Today we are going to do level level 2 of World 1, the Cave of No Return. Let's get started. Um, oh, my controller's vibrating again, oh my. Oh, it's really dark in here. Lamp. 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 Excuse me. Um, we have a lamp now. It's, it's very nice. Alright, Force Gems are just dropping from the ceiling, apparently. Well, I guess every pot we destroy will, uh, get rid of a, uh, thing. That's how I like to trick, uh, Dark Link out when he does that. And then also, uh... I did. I do want to point this out as well. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, the a few videos of mine, or a lot of videos of mine, have had this weird black bar on the side, on the uh, left side of the screen. But no more. No more of that. I fixed it. And I do not remember how to do this. Well, maybe you have to pull it. Maybe so. I do not remember how to do that quite yet. But here you want to do something like that. And then you want to push these blocks into the corner. Into the corners, I mean... Guess what it does? It gets rid of the fire. And we have a key right now. It's very nice. It's very nice, the key it is. I really want to get that treasure chest, but I don't remember how. And then also, this LP is probably going to be different from other LPs. Or other LPs of mine, I mean. As, uh... As you can't really 100% this game. And I don't know what to do. Oh, hope we needed to go that way. Also, when you get hit, you do lose Force Gems. I do. Ju I did just want to point that out. Oh, I guess it didn't matter how far we pushed it. Um, this game does have a four-player mode, but I do not have the uh, accessories needed to play the four-player mode. And, uh... I'm Uh, oh wait, never mind. We can just do that. Uh, now I gotta push this down. I think all the way, I do not remember. Yup. Uh, stupid mouse. We can push that over here. For these boxes in particular, you do need to use the box formation to uh, push them out of the way. Oh, there we go. And then also, um, like I was saying before, but I never finished, this game will be different from other games I've LP'd so far. As in, uh... You can't really 100% it. Because, or, I mean, you can try all you want. It won't really work out all that well, but, you know, you can still try. Or, I mean, you can really, you can't really 100% it. I mean, it's... It's not the Zelda game you would expect. By that, I mean, uh... 
by that, I mean you'd expect there to be a collectible of some kind to 100% it. But there's nothing to, uh, like, collect, I guess, which is weird. Also, I do not remember exactly how to do this puzzle here, so... Excuse me being silly for a minute. I had to, uh, look around. And if this is what I think it is... It's not, but... Oh, a... I don't know why that was there, but okay. Oh, you're just supposed to push these to the side? Maybe? I don't know. Uh... Um... Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, that puzzle is kind of unique right there. As, uh... You do something a little special. I hear noises. That'll be happening a whole lot more than you want it to, believe me. Oh, I know what those are. Crap. Jeez, man, serious. How many times are we gonna fall into this? But you do a control green link, actually, instead of, uh, say, uh, one of the other links. I just heard, like, rumbling from outside, and it kind of scared me for a minute there. So that's why I kind of paused. If I did pause. This room is also kind of annoying, because, as you can see, there are pits... What? Oh, that wasn't nice. What happens when we light all of these? Maybe you have to kill all these things. Yep, that was it. Let's go up first. Can we go up first? Yes, we can. Let's light all of the torches. Except, no, we can't. What? Oh, a ghost. You have friends. I'm jealous. You can... Oh! Okay, it's telling us about this now. Yeah, this is what I thought you had to do earlier on in the game, actually. Which is kind of funny. But over here we get a, the bow. Or the bow and arrow, whatever you want to say. And I do believe you actually need this for, uh... Maybe the room over here it is? I don't know. It's really dark in here. I should have come in here with the f with the uh with the torch. Oh, I really hope you need to uh, use this bow and arrow quite soon because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. We have four force fairies though, so that's nice. Um, uh, gosh, I know not of what I'm doing right now. Gracious goodness. Yes, I have I have no idea what I was doing there. Lamp. Wait, did I just say if you want to get chilly? If you get chilly, press the A button to burn whatever's in front of you. Yeah, you can actually burn stuff like a. Oh. oh. You're stupid now. You have to take the key from in here. Ooh, free money. I don't know how long this video's been, or how long it will be. I don't think 
think I was actually anything to do in this room either. Was there anything to do in this room? No, there probably wasn't. There was a button. Heart container! That was nice. I guess it was worthwhile coming back in here, except not really. That's impossible that it could be doing that it could possibly doing what I think it could be doing. It wouldn't make sense if it was thundering or whatever, because seriously, we had a blizzard. We've had a blizzard like three days in a row. But the key is used up here. Oh, I remember this. Oh, is this cool? You can use the uh bow and arrow to uh to take the uh, fire, and it is cool. Serious. Yep, but when you do that, you unveil, like, 50 bats, so... But that is needed to progress. Also, I don't know how to collect those over on the side there. I guess that's what happens if you fall. Oh, let's go this way. It's a lot brighter in here now. I don't know why. Oh my, it's this guy! Oh, oh, oh. So, back again, are you? I have a feeling I'll be seeing you a lot of you. <laughs> oh, I love this music. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, a whole one. Oh, it's five. Never mind. I thought it was one. Left or right? Left. Yup. Right. Left. I swear, this is kind of a guessing game right here, so I don't remember what to. Where did he go? Right. Yes, I was right. Right. Left. Right. What do you have to say, Mr. Ghost? So you've wandered into the cave and you're turn too. If you want to escape, you must pull a long lever. Grab it. Oh! Oh, these levers! Uh, Alright, just don't even pull the lever. Okay. Yeah, but you have to be in the this formation to open that lever. One thirteen. We're almost... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Meet Shadow Link. We'll be fighting him a lot more. I don't have enough Force Gems. When he gets weak... He will change into a color, so only that color link will be able to damage him. And we are light force gems. We're missing a few. And by a few, I mean a few hundred. Which isn't good. Why am I missing so many? Oh, this isn't good. Why am I missing so many? Yeah, but if you don't have enough... It sends you to the beginning of the level. So yeah, I will see you... When I get the 100... The... The whole 200 something Force Gems and then I'll meet you back at the end of the level. See you in a minute. All right, we've, we've, oh, never mind, when you get all of it, it just sends you to the end of the level, cool, I forgot about that, and then if you try to touch the electricity, it will kind of damage you, I guess, oh, let's see if we can get all of them there, yep, I don't think that actually does anything if you do that, so uh, it doesn't really matter. 
But, um, you know, we have beaten the Cave of No Return in less than 20 minutes. But as you can see, the next level is Hyrule Castle. And that's a lot. Or, it is Hyrule Castle. Oh, excuse me. This is actually the pra one of the practice levels I did to practice. So next time on more, let's play Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. We will go through Hyrule Castle and then finish up World 1, Whereabouts of the Wind. See ya then!